Today I'm reviewing the electronic cowbell from Joe Becky. That's coming up. What's up guys, Justin Grudel here, welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things e-drum related, so consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Today I'm reviewing an electronic cowbell. If you didn't know those existed, well, that's because there's only a couple of them on the market right now. This particular cowbell is from a company called Jobecki out of the UK. Just an FYI, they did mail this to me for free and they're letting me keep it. So let's start off with the construction of the product. It's just a standard acoustic cowbell. The input for the cowbell is right here on the bottom. You just take any cable, mono or stereo, you plug it in just like that. This is a single zone cowbell. Man, that sounds weird to say that. On the top of the cowbell, you have this rubber rim, sort of like what comes on all electronic drum sets. It helps dampen the sound. The funny thing about this whole electronic cowbell thing is, it sounds like an acoustic cowbell with a pillow inside of it, a really small pillow. So it still sort of has that acoustic-y sound. There's a lot of dampening agents inside of this cowbell, and then there's this little black cover piece of foam right here so you can't see any of the stuffing inside. And this mounts to a arm that they sent along. Let me actually get it out of this stand so I can show you. I don't know if this comes included every time you buy a cowbell from them, but they did give it to me. It's cool, it's got this ball clamp so you can position it like anywhere you need it to be. And then I mount this actually on a Go E-Drum drum rack right over here. I've got a side snare mounted on that thing, my TD30 drum module. I positioned this electronic cowbell over my hi-hat because that's like the best position I could find for this. Let's talk about a couple of things I don't like about this cowbell, unfortunately. Number one, the input is on the absolute worst place that you could possibly put it. It's on the bottom of the cowbell. When you plug in a cable to an object, and then you take a stick and you repeatedly hit the top of that object, what's gonna happen? The cable's gonna fall out. In fact, I have some footage of the, of the cable actually falling out while I was hitting it, and uh, I, this shouldn't be happening. Other times, the cable doesn't completely fall out, but it comes just unhooked, just sort of like that. Like it's not, it's just not triggering very well because it's not all the way into the cowbell. This is very annoying when you're filming something because you could be playing the cowbell for a drum cover like I was, it would just stop working and you'd have to start the drum cover over again. I think that this is the absolute worst place to put the input for this electronic cowbell. Oh look, the rubber cover, the rubber rim fell off. So I should probably use better glue for that too. Also, I've got to mention the stuffing came out a time or two while I was playing. Like I'd be playing the cowbell and then like the insides would just, just spill out of the cowbell. And as you saw, this wasn't planned or anything. This is the first time the rubber rim on this cowbell fell off as well. Just overall, this cowbell needs a little more work in the R&D department. Wait around for version two of this cowbell and then buy it. Now, the other competition that I can think of off the top of my head is made by Enfused, and it's actually got two zones, I believe. It's a lot more expensive than this guy, but you know what, if you want a really high quality cowbell, maybe go for the Enfused product. One other thing I've got to mention is that if you're thinking about buying anything from a company outside of your country, shipping is a big factor. Since I'm from the United States, if I had bought this, this would have been like $40 in shipping. So just keep that in the back of your mind. You'd have to pay the price of the cowbell and then the exact same price in shipping so it'd be twice as expensive as you thought it was. I've also heard that like shipping from the UK to Australia is really, really expensive as well. So just keep an eye out when you're buying from any company outside of your country.
So in summary, I really want to like this cowbell, but unfortunately, the rim falls off, the stuffing pops out, the input is in the wrong spot, so the cable falls out. Also, this thing is made of plastic, and it's, and it's come unscrewed for me as well. As of right now, it's not really something I would recommend buying. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you want to see more like this, I've got hundreds of them. Click subscribe. I'll see you in a few.